Research log 428. <sighs> Latest results still inconclusive. Elder dragons awaken, consume magic, and leave nothing but annihilation in their wake. This is the way it's always been. The dragon cycle. <sighs> Unimaginable suffering through the ages. Countless lives shattered. And instead of uniting, some capitalized on chaos. But some of us fought back. Heroes across Tyria banded together. We came from different corners, but shared a vision of a better tomorrow. Not everyone made it. <laughs> then came... hope from an unexpected place. Orin, who we raised from an egg. With the prismatic dragon on our side, we have a chance. A chance to finally break the dragon cycle. We've slain five elder dragons. <sighs> but what's the right path forward? Every elder dragon death has made the whole system more unstable. There have been many theories. We tried to keep balance by replacing them, but that turned out to be impossible. We're running out of time for answers. I'm running out of time. One remaining elder dragon is out there somewhere. I don't know what awaits us. Champion, I need to speak with you. Something's happening, and I'd like to discuss it. In person. Also, if I'm honest, I wouldn't mind seeing your face. Again. In person. Don't let that go to your head. It's wonderful to see you, even with Jormak and Primordius gone. I notice Tyria is still standing. Seems the Exalted were a bit off in their predictions. Disaster hasn't struck. Yet. The world does feel different, though. Can't put my finger on it. Like, change is coming. Real change. I feel it too, Champion. That's why I wanted to see you. I've begun to perceive something, a distant presence, an ancient presence. It's a ripple in the mists, like a dolphin in the deep, sounding to sense what's out there, and I, I want to respond. But before I do, I check my visions. All my possible futures converge to one point, today. And you can't see past it? And I can't see past it. Are you sure? Does it mean you die? I'm not sure of anything, except my urge to respond, to say, yes, I'm here. You're not scared? I'm intrigued. I'm intensely curious. And even if I die, we know I won't stay dead. We think. Whatever it is, I can handle it. I just wanted to tell you, before it all begins. How does it begin? I'm not sure. 
but I know it involves Tiny and Gorik. Then I'll talk to them. Commander. Case. Oh, you're back. That's, uh, good. That's great. Is she... <sighs> Something to do with Gorik. Yeah, okay, um, so Gorik and I have been up here doing research, looking for a way to end the dragon cycle. Because, like, who needs that noise every 10,000 years, am I right? So many dead people, and the cleanup is insane. You were talking about Gorik. Right. Gorik got a message from an old colleague. Ah. An old inquest colleague. Ah. Uh -huh. Anka. Anka. He's mentioned her a couple times. I've never met her. Says she was tracking Jormag and Primordus. Ah. Oh, she has some data. Would he like to see it? She'll trade it to us. For what? Doesn't specify for what. Red flag. Come meet her at Lorner's Pass alone. Second red flag. So, Anka offers him something she knows he'd want without asking for something in return? Yes. Why would she do that? Exactly. Oh. She likes him. Exactly. Why do you care? I don't know. But you don't trust her. Why should I? Why indeed? I'm sorry, are you worried for Gorik's safety? Yes, I'm worried for Gorik's safety. You want me to go find him at the pass? Bring him back? Alchemy! Uh, would you? Please? Thank you, Commander. Gang's back together, huh? I mean, not the whole gang, obviously. Ritlock, Kaz and Jory. Timing. Ram's at the Lodge. Logan's back in Kreta. Kanak is with Saida. Zafiro with the Zaishin. Timing. Garm is with Bram. Air and Snapper dead. I don't know where the heck Zoja is. Timey. I'll get Gorik. It's going to be okay. I know. Uh, not bad, considering it's mostly speculation. There's so much we don't know, or don't know we don't know. You have Aureen. And she's been super helpful, but she's only one elder dragon, and not exactly typical of the species. We have so many questions. How did she ascend? Where did the others come from? Are there any more out there? The Priory thought there was at least one more. The Water Dragon. Draconology is an evolving field of study. Hypotheses must be supported by evidence. They live their lives on a time scale we can barely comprehend. Some days I wonder if they're knowable at all. But, like you said, we have Aureen. And she makes all the difference. Ups and downs. Could do with fewer of the downs. Some days I wake up feeling like it's gonna take nine bolts to the brain pan to get me out of bed, you know? But most days are fine. And we don't need to talk about the other days. Have you been getting any rest? Not enough. That's not true. Okay, yes, that's true. I'm just getting so close to figuring out where all that magic went. That's not a good excuse, though. More rest, fewer symptoms, fewer symptoms, happier timey. You came. You asked. I like that you trusted me. Why wouldn't I? I haven't always earned it. Being back at the Grove was different this time. I know we Silvari tend to come off as sophisticates of the highest order. <laughs> oh, indeed. But the truth is, even we firstborn have only been around for thirty-odd years. Our culture is immature, emotionally. Knowledge we have, but knowledge and wisdom are different things. I think back to when I was with Fowlin. <laughs> I don't recognize that person. I had no idea who I was, but Aureen changed everything. I'm a parent, <laughs> of a sort, anyway. Being back among them, I realized I don't belong there anymore. 
My world, my perspective have... Broadened. I knew you would understand. Hmm. I've been thinking about these past months. Primordis and Jormak, Bangar and Ryland. I made a conscious choice not to involve myself. As a nascent Elder Dragon, I was wary of my own power. But lately I've wondered, was that the right choice? Right. Remember my visions of our battle with Krakatoric? They all ended the same. With your death. And you couldn't see past it. Just like Glint. But, of course, that was before I... Ate an unkillable Lich King? Discovered I can self-resurrect. Glint couldn't. Kraukatoric couldn't. Once again, my visions converge. Except I don't see my death in any of them. They just... stop. Does that mean anything? Change anything? Is this time different? I don't know. But I can't wait to find out. Gorik left to meet up with an old Inquest colleague, who time he doesn't know, doesn't trust, for reasons unclear. They've worked closely for a while yeah. now, and they share a bond of loss, years since they lost Blish. But grief heals eventually, especially when you grieve together. None of it seems to have anything to do with you, though. No. And I still can't see past today. It's exhilarating, not knowing what's coming. Maybe for you. Okay, I'm off to Lornar's pass to save Gorik's virtue. Detective Delacroix and Lady Mead. Or is it Ambassador Mead now? No title yet. I managed not to screw up the Ice Brood War. Queen gave me a little more rope is all. You helped bring humans and Char together. Got the code and invested in the fight, and Jenna knows it. Maybe. Nice to think so. We haven't had much time to really talk since Bangar's convocation. Oh my gods. The Metal Legion concert. Then things got busy. Things have always been busy. Ever since we were tracking Kralkatorik. Trying to clean up his mess. Towns destroyed. Refugee camps. Close my eyes, I can see the faces. It was... a lot. Coming on the heels of Cormir and the other gods leaving us all to fend for ourselves. We see how well that's gone. You're not being fair to I was shiny and shallow. A sunbeam. My sunbeam. Who ran when you needed me most. And I forgave you. A long time ago. You have to forgive yourself. Working on it. Duty calls. I have answered. Give me a report. I've had some time to sit with everything. Spent some time with Kree. You never really got to know your son. Not the way you wanted. No. But I think that's the point. Bangar was right. Char don't have sons. Kree knew that. Kept her objective. What I wanted, I was never gonna get from Ryland. <laughs> it wasn't about him, it was about me. What I need. I couldn't see past the hole I was trying to fill. The more I pushed, the more he pulled away. I made it all worse. Ryland was a grown Char. He made his choices. I know. And I did what had to be done. Now his fight is over. Me? I don't know. There's time. You'll figure it out. Working on it. Uh, things are still tense, but she's good. Great, under the circumstances. Hands full with paperwork. Keeps her busy. 
Thinks a couple of the Imperators are already vying for Connor. Hope it doesn't get ugly. We've been through... a lot. Of course, I'm biased, but if you ask me, they already got a pretty good candidate. For what it's worth, I think you're right. Might be time for all of us to put away old divisions. Hmm. <laughs> Listen to us. Couple old soldiers going soft. We fight because we have to. Not because we want to. That was Bangar's mistake. <laughs> Add it to the list. But yeah, might be time. I think I'm ready to plant my tail in one place for a while. And just... process.